What's happening, people, and welcome to our podcast, where we step outside the box and talk about atypical topics from growing minds. I'm Benjamin. And I'm Rainy. And we are your host. Welcome to our show. Now, let's shoot the shit. I'm crossing your highlight, obviously. But it's just like, it's going to start little, but you know, it's the little things for me. Because I feel like that's going to lead me to the greater things. You know? I just, we've been doing the podcast, and I mean, obviously, because it was my idea to change the title to that, because I want to enjoy my anarchy. Anarchy is a natural state of mind. It's uncovering all the layers of indoctrination into just very simple human ideals, you know? So to me, anarchists are the most simple-minded. But, like, in a good way. You yeah. know, we're not thinking yeah, about credit scores. Just original. Yeah, 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 exactly. Just so simple. It, yeah. like, takes us back to, like, being the original people. <laughs> you know, really pure. Pure of heart and shit. Like, that's how I feel about anarchists. <clears throat> Most of them are pure of heart. They understand it. And they treat people like people. They're just kind of fed up with the system. Yeah, exactly, because they just don't want a system in the first place. So that's how I feel. I feel like I want everything and anything to do with anarchism. Me too. I want to support it in any way I can. But I also, I'm like, you, that's what it is. See, that, that's what's going on. My throat chakra is aligning. So like at the... Why do you why do you say that? Because like at the concert, how I just spark up conversations with people. Then I go to the bathroom and I talk to girls like in the line about how ridiculous it is. You know, I'm just outspoken. And your throat chakra works on like speaking your truth and like being outspoken about what you want or who you are or just saying what you mean and what's on your mind, kind of thing. Okay. So I feel like I've been talking a lot more and just being a lot more confident, I guess, in myself. And that's why I want to get pulled over. Because I confidently want to express my beliefs. I want to well, express my you rights. You confidently should be able to. Yeah. I feel, and I back you. No, I know, but I just want to. You know, I'm like ready. I'm ready to not say a word. <laughs> You're ready to not say a word? Yeah. What do you mean by that? I'm ready to get pulled over and not say anything. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, so That's my plan. Plead, plead the fifth. Yeah. That's well, you have to say that if you're not going to talk. That's one the thing. Fifth. Yeah, that's one thing. Well, that or you can write it on paper and say, I'm a mute. Or I can't hear. Yeah. I don't want to lie. Some shit like that. That's I want not to lie rebel. For me. <laughs> It's a gray area. Yeah, well, I want to rebel. I want to, because, yeah, you, in order to, for it to be legal, you have to express that you are invoking your right to yeah. stay silent. And I then, mean, you don't have to. You don't have to. It's up to them to violate your right or not. Yeah. I mean, it's whether they're a good cop or not. You know what I mean? Rather they know their job or do not, they do not. Yeah. So. But yeah. I've been feeling rebellious. I've just kind of felt like full of like actual life. You know what it is? Oh. I said that twice now because I just am high and I keep having these epiphanies. I started reading. I started becoming inspired. <laughs> mm. Like living the lives of these women who stand up for themselves and turn the century and shit, you know? I'm inspired. Mm -hmm. Grateful for who I am, the life we live. Grateful to be awake enough to relate to these women. And in the books, they always have the man who's by her side. <laughs> the man mm -hmm. who's by her side. Yeah. Prince Charles. 
No, no, I don't. It's never Prince Charles. No, I. What are you talking about? The books I read are historical fiction. Um, they are mainly um women going through like a turn of the century, being told what to do, and like outcasting from it, you know, rebelling. But they're all like thirty-year-old women. It's just. And the men, men they find are always like the one you wouldn't pick, you know, like the hardworking men, the the, the tradesmen, shit like that. Thanks. So it's just really cool. I like that, see that, my life as an adventure again. Okay, you see yourself as like a pirate, no, like a gypsy. No, I see myself as rainy. I right. just see it in clear eyes. <laughs> I don't see my life like like a movie. Like I don't. I'm not making myself. Like, Every time you get a movie, what are you talking I'm about? I'm just appreciating what I Where have. Where do these bin facts come from? <laughs> they come from movies. And I just love you. I'm sorry for ranting. It's okay. I love you so much too. And I love that Bravo is like fucking full blown. What is that called? A koala bear in you right now. Yeah, but he's just trying to play. His eyes, his pupils he's got all are fours right there on one limb. <laughs> Bro. Bro. So he bathed me earlier. Yeah, did you give me a bath? Bravo. You did give me a bath, didn't you? Alright, I should let you know then. What? I've been recording for a few minutes. Why? Just for random behind the scenes shit. <laughs> How long has it been? It's been seven minutes. <laughs> You've just been letting me talk? Yeah. It's and like I think it was beautiful. Diary. Yeah, know. exactly. Like, this is as raw as it real. gets. <laughs> exactly. This shit is raw. We don't fuck around. This is how we are all the time. <laughs> that's, that's she's all blown away. I know, I yeah. feel like I was like on a hidden camera show and I don't know whether to be mad or like uh, you my should, microphone is nowhere near me. It, it don't even matter. You probably didn't you couldn't even hear me. We'll decide together whether we put this out so the people will know. <laughs> Alright, thank you everybody. Peace. <laughs>